Live, local, late breaking. WMBF News starts with breaking news. We are continuing to follow breaking news tonight on WMBF News at 6. Suspects believed to be involved in shootings in the Conway area led officers on a chase, ending with multiple people being taken into custody. And this, as, as we've learned, there were two different shootings today, one in Horry County, another in the Conway city limits. We have team coverage tonight from several active scenes. First, let's send it to Meredith Heline. She spoke with Horry County Police Chief Joseph Hill. Meredith. What's the latest? What did Chief Hill have to say about all of this? Hey, Caitlin and Eric, it has been an extremely, extremely busy day for Horry County authorities. I'm going to first give you a little background. This all started last night when a woman and her son um, had shots fired at them while they were driving down Hemingway Chapel Road. That's in an area west of Conway. And then again today around 120, our reporter Audrey Bisque was in that same area talking with neighbors about that violence and how they felt about shots being fired in their neighborhood when she and other reporter and these neighbors witnessed again shots fired just feet from her and then just hours later these people struck again in the Juniper Bay Road area of Horry County. Now we came down Adrian Highway and ran into Chief Hill and other authorities here. We're almost to the corner of 701. It's just a little bit west of here. We're currently in front of Adrian Free Will Baptist Church and when I spoke with Chief, Chief Hill, he had a lot to say. We learned um, some new facts from him today. He said that about three hours prior, so probably around four o'clock um, that that chase started after the Juniper Bay Road shots being fired. Um, police did find out that the vehicle they were in, a burgundy colored car, was a stolen vehicle and he says that that car was a dish on the uh, at Hux Road that's a little bit east of here. That road runs in to Adrian Highway. That's where the, the car was ditched. They had one person taken into custody there, and he told me that two to three other people then ran out of the car, and that's when this manhunt ensued across the Adrian Highway greater area of Horry County. He said they set up perimeters in different areas, um, you know, to really catch these suspects. He said that they should be considered armed and dangerous. He wanted everyone to shelter in place who lives in these areas. He said at the time that a canine team was searching that he had 30 officers on the ground and that was the latest about 30 to 40 minutes ago from Chief Hill. Now I'm going to toss it to Ian Klein who's live at another area where this manhunt has been going on all afternoon. Ian. Yeah, I'm, I am off 701 right now. Uh, just about five minutes ago, our, me and my photog Michael Walter, we saw several police officers go down McNabb Road, which is just down. If I'm going to step out of the way for you guys, you guys can see there's flashing lights down in this area. One of the officers, there's actually a roadway that goes kind of behind that cornfield. That's where we believe the officers just went into. Now, this is kind of a very residential area. A lot of people, uh, a lot of homes off to my side. And as you said, if you see anything in this area, officers recommending to stay in home because these guys could be armed and dangerous. Now, we aren't sure if they found one at this time or if there's someone in this area, but we've seen several, at least five or six, go back into McNabb past that cornfield. Uh, still traffic along 701, still moving smoothly. Uh, for now, we're still trying to gather more information as to if these guys are still in the area. We have several officers having a perimeter in this area of 701 reporting in Horry County. Ian Klein, WMBF News. And I believe Ian said earlier that he's just a couple of miles from where Meredith was right off of Adrian Highway. Yeah, so it's not really a vast area there. They're all kind of concentrated in a relatively close area. And this string of crimes in Horry County is many of you on edge. We know that. And we've received a number of concerned calls and messages over the past week. And we want you to know that we are committed to bringing you live local late breaking coverage of all of these incidents. We're taking you back now to one week ago today when three men allegedly shot and killed a man in a Long's Food Lion parking lot. That was before stealing a car and committing several robberies. Two of those robberies, one at the Carolina Inn in the Loris area, another across the North Carolina line in Chadburn. That was caught on camera. You're looking at video of those incidents right now on your screen. And as of tonight, police say they are still looking for those suspects. Then Saturday, authorities say two bodies were found shot dead in the Conway area. This happened in the 4000 block of Highway 19. 
Authorities say they responded to a home searching for the owner of a found vehicle to find the two victims shot dead in a driveway. Those victims identified as Robbie and Robert Ford. Those homicides are also under investigation still. And then another homicide investigation along Adrian Highway after a body was found in the 4600 block around 1 o'clock in the morning yesterday. The Horry County coroner identifying that victim as Terry Bly. Police say he was found unresponsive in a camper and we're told a preliminary investigation does not indicate this homicide is connected to any of the other recent incidents. And then just last night, a car with a seven year old inside was shot at multiple times also in the Conway area. Horry County police say a woman and her child were driving through the 1500 block of Hemingway Chapel Road. When they approached Raspberry Lane, a car was parked in a driveway facing oncoming traffic. When she slowed that car down because of the position of the SUV, she reportedly saw multiple armed people. Police say another car then approached her, possibly a gray Dodge Charger, shouted at her and began firing, hitting her car about four times. The victim left that scene and called 911. When investigating, police say they found a home they believe was where that woman was shot at. Authorities say shell casings were found in the roadway and the yard. We're told this home and a car in that yard had also been hit multiple times by gunfire. Witnesses reported as many as 10 masked people in the yard of that home. Police say one witness indicated they observed a person with a white mask armed with what appeared to be a long gun. Well, this all brings us to today, where within the past 30 minutes, we've learned there were two shootings in Horry County, one in the area of Juniper Bay Road and one on Hemingway Chapel in the city of Conway. Our Audrey Bisque was covering last night's shooting that we just told you about off of Hemingway Chapel Road when she heard shots fired. Conway PD says their preliminary investigation leads police to believe that those shots fired were not targeting anyone. They believe that they were fired from a vehicle driving down Hemingway Chapel Road into the air or just at random. Again, though, please stick with WMBF News on air and online as we continue to bring you the very latest details on all of these developing incidents. Horry County Police Chief Joseph Hill said today they are still chasing leads and working hard to bring the suspects wanted in that crime spree and other recent incidents in the community into custody. He didn't have very much information to report that wouldn't jeopardize the investigation, he said. But he did add that SLED and several federal agencies have joined in on the manhunt in finding those responsible and bringing them into custody. He also had some news to share regarding the certification of new hires in the police department. Hill says that he received a phone call yesterday notifying him of just what happened. That's the place where government has to continue to function, to work to support the residents of this community of our county to be here during and after a disaster. That's what this facility does. Before that meeting, the committee led with a prayer for the victims of the crime spree and other recent incidents. And before we go to weather, I do just want to reiterate, we don't know how all of this is connected right. just yet. The the robberies, the, the homicide at Food Line, the other two deaths, at this we point, don't know if it's all connected. Today, police are a little confident they're believing they're moving in the direction of the fact that the incident that happened last night with the shooting with the woman and the seven year old with the shots fired into their car and then the two incidents today, one in the Horry County area and one in Conway. They are working to believe that those three could be connected, but linking those to the ones last week at the food line and all across in Chabber, North Carolina and then here in South Carolina as well. That has not been done yet. They have not made that link at this point. They certainly have a lot on their plate right now. We're going to keep you updated on any new developments. Now let's get to that first alert forecast. We are continuing to follow breaking news. We've been doing it all day long. This is regarding at least two shootings today. One yesterday evening started with a woman and a child in a car. Four shots in that situation that happened last night. And then today we had two more shooting incidents, one in the Horry County area and one in Conway. We have reporters who are spread out all over this area, keeping you covered with up to date live local late breaking information. And then those shootings spurred a police chase when officers noticed a vehicle that they did say was stolen. That vehicle ended up ditching off the side of Highway 701. They did take one person to custody, but we know that at least two to three are still out there on the run. And we do want to go now to Ian Klein, who is live off of Gurley Road, right in that area where this manhunt is happening. Ian, what do you know right now? 
Yeah, this area of 701 near Gurley Road has actually gotten fairly quiet right now. Uh, this over here, there's a few houses to my right. There were several officers when we got here around 5 o'clock. Those officers heading in this direction behind me over towards McNabb. We saw about five or six officers pull over. You can see behind me there's a cornfield. Uh, we saw several officers go back onto McNabb Road cutting over towards that cornfield. We're about two and a half miles from Hux Road, which is where we were hearing that uh, the first man was apprehended near where that crash had happened. Now, we aren't sure if one of them have been found or if several of them have been found in this area. It's gotten a lot quieter, though. We do still have a lot of officers in this area as they try to set up a perimeter. Um, this is a fairly residential area. If you're familiar with this area of 701, there's houses on both sides. Uh, if you are living in this area, police recommending to stay inside because these suspects could be armed and dangerous. But if you see anything or have any information, to call the Horry County Police um, as quickly as you can uh, and letting them know their location. Uh, as of right now, though, on 701, traffic still flowing through. Like I said, the officers in this area seem to have gone towards McNabb. If we have any more information from this area, we'll be sure to bring it to you. Reporting live in Horry County, Ian Klein, WMBF News. Okay, you know, we want to reiterate that authorities are saying because we have uh, possibly two to three people still on the loose and they could be armed and dangerous, they are asking you to stay indoors to stay safe. We are continuing our team coverage right now on WMBF News. And just about an hour or two ago, Meredith Heline talked to Police Chief Joseph Hill about this ongoing situation. And Meredith is live now just off of Adrian Highway. Meredith. Hey, Kaylin and Eric, I spoke with Horry County Police Chief Joseph Hill about 45 minutes to an hour ago on Adrian Highway. We're almost, uh, if you just go west a little bit more, that's where Highway 701 is, just to give you a little bit of an idea where we are right now. And when I came up to Joe Hill, um, he had new things to say. He brought up new information that we were able to confirm about uh, this manhunt going on today. And he said that that burgundy car that we've talked to you about, that um, our reporter Audrey Bisk witnessed in that shooting at Hemingway Chapel Road today, is is a stolen vehicle and that is what one of the suspects was caught inside. He told me that two to three other people ran out of that vehicle and into the woods and that's when this chase began. He had a canine team searching for those suspects. He says now this was about an hour ago, about 30 officers that were also looking for them. Again, that uh, that car was left on Huck's Road. And they've been chasing them for a while. He said that these people should be considered armed and dangerous, the suspects that is, and that people that live in this area should be staying inside until this situation is figured out, until it is declared safe. Now, when we came here about 45 minutes to an hour ago, there were about seven or eight Horry County Sheriff's Office cards, um, cars, uh, police cars here, and then they have all left. We haven't seen any for about 30 minutes. Um, so we'll continue to keep you updated. And here's a little bit more from my conversation with Chief Hill. Well, what I would tell them is to stay in your homes, shelter in place until we give the all clear. We'll work with the media to make sure that information gets out. For right now, just kind of let us do our job. Do not come outside your house. Stay at home. If you see something, please say something. All right, and we are waiting for Chief Joe Hill to give us that all clear to let us know that everything is safe and sound. For now, reporting live in Horry County, right off Adrian Highway. I'm Meredith Heline. Back to you. As we continue to follow the breaking news of the day, we want to bring you up to date. Now, it's been a very active two days in the latest crime wave we've been covering for you. Yesterday evening, a woman was driving in her car with her seven-year-old child. When shots were fired, at least four bullets hit their car. Then fast forward to today, two more incidents, one in the Horry County area, another in the Conway area. Shots fired in these situations as well. Our Audrey Bisk was covering yesterday's incident today. That's when she actually heard those 10 gunshots fired. She is okay but this is just the beginning now. And just a couple of hours ago, around about four o'clock, police say they saw a car that matched the description that was involved in those shootings off of uh, Hemingway Chapel Road. Meredith Heline right now is right outside the location where that vehicle ended up ditching and a couple of those suspects in the vehicle got away. Meredith, what is the latest out there? 
Kayla, that happened a little bit east of where we are now on Adrian Highway. Now, in the past five minutes, we've heard a bunch of dogs barking. I'm a little bit east of here near a Christmas tree farm that's about a mile east on Adrian Highway from where we're at right now. And the only reason we're a little bit concerned about that, we're going to check that out here soon, is because when I spoke with Horry County Police Chief Joe Hill about 45 minutes to an hour ago, he said he has canine teams on the ground all over this place searching for these suspects that are still on the loose. Now, we'll be live at 7 with the latest update. For now, I'm Meredith Heline in Horry County. Back to you. And a reminder that authorities are asking to stay indoors if you are in that area. We will continue to follow this. 30 minutes from now, we'll have another live report for you. About two to three people they say right now are still on the loose. They are considered armed and dangerous. So if you see them, call 911. Don't try to interact with these people. Again, though, a very active situation today and yesterday. They are saying at least two to three suspects is what they're looking for right now because they did ditch their car and at least two or three of those suspects got away. So they ran into the woods. They are on the loose, and that is why authorities are asking you to stay indoors. But we will see you back here in just about 33 minutes from right now. We will have another half hour for you. We've had reporters out there all day long. We will continue to bring you team coverage here on WMDF News. We'll see you back here at 7. Stay with us.